Where the Lonely Ones Roam by Glimmer Glanger Read by X Man Hater Adora took the dinner she was offered with every evidence of satisfaction, throwing a leg over one of the benches that had appeared in the village square. The food was heavy and rich. It tasted good, fresh and hot, so different from the packaged meals they'd grown up eating inside the horde. Glimmer wrinkled her nose at it, but Katra ignored her, joining them on the benches for the evening. She didn't know why, except that she was used to eating beside Adora still, after all this time. This is nice, Adora said, holding her empty bowl between her hands while someone started singing over near one of the other fires. She smiled slightly, tapping her fingers to the music. Glad it meets your approval, Katra drawled, but without the bite she wanted to put into the words. It was hard to muster the venom she wanted, not when she kept remembering Adora's weight in her arms. Well, Glimmer said, setting her bowl, largely untouched, to one side. This has been enlightening, but we really should be getting back home. Mom will be expecting us. Katra cocked her head to the side. Oh no, she said, feigning disappointment. Please wait, don't go. Glimmer glared at her, standing abruptly. We should at least stay the night, Adora said, surprising Katra, and by the twist of her expression, Glimmer as well. It's late, Adora said, with a shrug. Unless there isn't room for us. Katra waved a hand, batting aside the concern. We make room for everyone. Come on, I'll help you find a bunk. In the end, Katra deposited the pair of them in one of the new buildings on the outskirts of the village. They were, in many ways, cleaner and better put together than the old construction. Scorpia, it appeared, had a gift with building, and Entrapta could sometimes be persuaded to sit still long enough to knock together plans for the expanding buildings. Just ask if you need anything, Katra said, leaving them on the doorway and stalking back to her quarters and an empty bunk. She curled up at the foot before cursing, kicking her way free of the blankets and going to take a patrol around the village. It was somewhat of a surprise to see Adora at the breakfast fire the next morning. She ate a platter of eggs with gusto, her hair pulled back into a ponytail once more. Katra sat down beside her, tired from the sleepless night, and said, Leaving soon? Adora glanced up at her, flushing across her cheeks. Yes, she said, tapping her fork on the plate and looking to the side. I need to go make my report. Right, Katra said, standing again. Make sure you tell them that someone is making sure their people have enough food to eat. She walked away before Adora could say anything in reply. Hey, Scorpia said later, approaching Katra slowly, where she was digging out the stump of some old ruined tree. Everything okay? You seem kind of... Everything's fine, Katra snapped, and no one asked again. She had known Adora wouldn't stay, anyway. Adora never stayed. 